The fascist often threatened to crush the revolution by murdering more heroes of the people tempered in the flames of the struggle. How can they crush the armed movement of the people hateful of the monsters, the imperialists, the big compradors, the landlords, corrupt officials, and the butchers that they order? How can they crush the revolution, which is the people's desire and hope against oppression and exploitation, the lack of jobs and land, widespread poverty, hunger and inflation? How can they crush the rising toiling masses, the women and the youth with firmness and vigor joining the party of the revolution, the Red Army and the mass organizations? How can they crush the secret meetings in homes, yards, and in the woods that create the revolutionaries at a rate far faster than the murder of martyrs? How can they crush the widespread increase of the squads, platoons, and companies of the People's Army, militia, and Red Guards of the revolutionary mass organizations ever ready to give a blow to the enemy? How can they crush the mass movement of the oppressed and exploited building their own government in the countryside before they have the strength to seize power in the cities. The threat to crush the revolution through the terrorism of the state is sheer boasting by the monsters who actually inflame the revolution until it can crush the enemy in its last layer.